Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Maximus back with another video review and today we continue Christmas in July with the Hallmark Keepsake Ornament Collection from Star Trek and today we're going to take a look at a miniature set from Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Now you may hear some fireworks going off in the background. It is the 4th of July and my neighbors are just blowing stuff up all over the place. Now I found this set at my local flea market, the Emporium 31, uh, here in Greenwood, Indiana, and I paid 25 cents for it, so I was very happy about that. Um, this set originally cost $14.95 uh, when it was originally released, and that was back in, uh, what year is on here? Um, -do 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 it doesn't say, hang on. Um, 2001, it's not even in focus. All right, there we go. Um, yeah, so 2001. This was actually the last year uh, that I collected the Star Trek ornaments. Um, I do have this set already. Um, this was to go with the Deep Space Nine uh, ornament that came out that year. Um, I'll show that off here in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely cool. It's got the nice green. It says holiday greetings everywhere. It says Hallmark at the top. And then it's got three different ships. Um, if I can get it to focus. There we go. It's got the Enterprise E, the Voyager, and uh, it's got the Defiant. It's got the Deep Space Nine logo right there, which is very cool. Uh, back of the package here, uh, it's got the little write-up, and it says, Many of the greatest adventures in Starfleet history took place on board the three ships reproduced in this miniature ornament set, scaled to hang perfectly from this year's Star Trek Deep Space Nine uh, Space Station ornament. This set would make a stellar addition to a miniature tree as well, and it was sculpted by Lynn Norton. So good job, Lynn. Um, yeah, this was definitely a fun and interesting set, mainly because it kind of complemented the Deep Space Nine set, uh, which I really liked. I thought that was fun. It was like ornaments inside of ornaments. And I just liked that. I thought that was a good idea. So um, let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at the little mini ornaments. Um, yep, there's one. Number two. And number three, and do we have the card in here? Nope, the card is gone, unfortunately. Lost to time. Um, so let's see here. Here is, oh, yep, the Defiant. Uh, this is very cool. I'm going to take the hook off uh, so that we can see it a little bit better, if I can get it to focus. Um, yeah, that is awesome. Love the detail on it. It says USS Defiant. Um, just looks great. There's the front of it there. Really, really nice. Bottom, sculpted well. Um, it's got uh, NX uh, on the engine. Oops, I can get it into the camera there. Uh, very nice. Definitely dig that. Uh, the back of it right to there. So yeah, definitely cool. Really, really digging that. Um, love the Defiant. Always one of my favorite DS9 uh, ships. All right, so the next one here we're gonna take a look at is the, the Itty Bitty Voyager. I'll have to throw that over there, and then I'll take that brass hook off, and yeah, oh, this guy is so tiny. Look at the tininess of it, uh, but yeah, definitely cool. It's not as uh, detailed as the larger scale ornament, but it's definitely very neat. Um, I like it. Um, it, it, it is, does scale very well. It is so tiny, uh, but yeah, they did a good job with it. Um, it's a very nice miniature version. Uh, definitely dig that. I think that one's fun too, uh, for sure. And then the final one that they have is the USS Enterprise E. Uh, all right, so we got that over there. And then I'll take a look at it. Again, it's very, very tiny. There it is. 
Um, again, scaled fun. I definitely like it. Um, I mean, they, they painted it completely. It's even got the Enterprise NCC-1701E right there. But yeah, overall, very cool. Very tiny, very small. Um, definitely dig that as well. So it was kind of cool. Like I said, it's fun to see um, how it had these little ships that you could put onto the Deep Space Nine ornament. Obviously, they do not scale at all with each other, but eh, it is what it is. But they do hang around uh, the ornament, so let's go ahead and take a look at that and see what the ships look like with the DS9 ornament. So here we have the Deep Space Nine ornament, and this thing's pretty darn good size. It's very well detailed. This came out in 1991 as well. Um, it comes with a base, which is very cool, and it's got its own piece here you can hang, so you can remove this from the base. Um, and then as you can see, there are multiple little hooks um, to hang the um, ornaments from. Now, the person I obviously got them from did not have this because he had little brass hooks on them. Um, so it's kind of cool to see them actually on uh, the Deep Space Nine. Now, these ornaments have actually been on this Deep Space Nine in this configuration, I think, since 2001, which is like 18 years. Um, it's got AAA batteries, two AAA batteries in the base that has a message from Cisco. Uh, I don't have any AAA, so I, I, I can't play it, unfortunately. Um, but this thing's really nicely detailed. And again, it's it's about the same size as the Eagle Moss Deep Space Nine. Um, the only issue I really have with it is the color is off. Um, it's kind of a gray color. All the detail in the actual pylons and stuff look really nice, but it just doesn't look show accurate because it's not that kind of dirty, rusty brown color which is a bit unfortunate, but it's definitely a great looking piece. And uh, it sits up on one of my bookcases uh, with the little ships there. And I absolutely love it. Um, and it was pretty much my DS9 until I got my Eagle Moss. And this one's still really cool because I can hang starships on it. And you can hang them at one, two, three points off the pylons. And then there's one, um, two, three uh, points around the docking ring which is really, really cool. I definitely dig that. Uh, but yeah, if you get the little miniature ships, I highly advise getting the Deep Space Nine. Now this is another one that's a little bit more expensive. I see this go for anywhere from about 60 to $90 on um, eBay. And uh, to be honest, it's probably worth it because I don't remember seeing a lot of these. Um, and I remember it selling out because a lot of DS9 fans were really quick to pick them up. And I'm just glad I did and still have it in my collection today. All right, so yeah, there it is. Um, now, like I said, these were about $15 initially, $14.95. Um, I see these go anywhere from like 10 bucks to 25 bucks online. I definitely wouldn't pay any more than $20 for these. Um, and that is only really if I'm going to get a Deep Space Nine uh, ornament uh, to hang on the tree. Um, and I don't even have the DS9 hanging on the tree. It sits on a bookcase all year with the, these little ships. So, you know, that unto itself is kind of cool. Now, is this something that you want in your Star Trek collection? Well, again, if you've got a Trekkie that, or you are the Trekkie that or is into these ornaments, um, this is definitely something fun to get. Uh, I personally like how they're ornaments that hang off of an ornament. Uh, I think that's just fun. But it also has the collectability that you don't have to hang this on a tree all year. You can just put it on the Deep Space Nine ornament and set that up on display, which is very cool. So for me, uh, while it was the last of the ornaments that I initially collected, uh, they were definitely some of my more favorites just because of the uniqueness to it. Ornaments hanging off of ornaments, docking at Deep Space Nine. What Trekkie wouldn't love that, huh? So there it is, uh, the uh, miniature starships from uh, Star Trek Deep Space Nine from the Hallmark Ornament Keepsake series. So what adventure awaits us tomorrow? Well, there's only one way to find out. Tune in as we conclude Christmas in July. Make it so. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.